Why was the McLaren MP44 the most dominant car of all time? The McLaren MP44 is quite simply the greatest car in the history of Grand Prix racing. With two incredibly quick drivers behind the wheel going by the names of Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost, the 1988 Formula 1 season was completely and utterly dominated by McLaren Honda. Yes, you heard that right, Honda was actually good back in the 80s. Designed by Gordon Murray and Steve Nichols, it secured 15 wins out of the 16 race season. The amount of criticism flown around after Red Bull supposedly dominated F1 in early 2010. Imagine what the 1988 season would get today. However, it was a truly iconic year which kick-started one of the most intense rivalries the sport has ever seen. Senna versus Prost, two drivers that would do anything to win with a car that was untouchable. But why was it untouchable? What made it such an incredible car? We spoke to chief designer Gordon Murray to dive into their secrets. Why is this car in particular? Why was it so successful? Well, I I think the first thing you have to recognise is whatever car you're talking about, whatever success rate, you need five things to win a championship. You need the right chassis, the right driver, the right tyre choice, the right motor and the right strategy and team. If you have one of those missing, it's difficult to win a race, let alone a, a season. And for this season we had um, Prost and Senna. So that was pretty good. That was ticking the box. <laughs> we had, um, I had a very good relationship with Samu Gotto, who was the engine designer for uh, Honda, and they produced a cracking little V6 one and a half liter turbo. So we had that. The tires weren't so much of a factor because we were all pretty much on the same tires for that particular year. The team was very good. Mm. And then finally, when it came down to the car, I had a pretty clean sheet of paper when I first came to McLaren and it came directly from the last Brabham I did which was the BD55. Okay. That car was ultra radical because I laid the driver, the engine and the driver down very flat and we had a massive increase in aerodynamic performance about 15% which you know usually if you got two or three percent you had a public mm. holiday yeah. so we had 15% and sure enough the first test we went to I think we were a second and a half quicker than anybody else so we knew wow. we knew again. <laughs> we also knew from the wind tunnel Mm. that it was going to be good. The, the aerodynamic efficiency, that's lift over drag, was much better. And the downforce was um, pretty good. It uses the same pull rod front suspension that I first used on the Brabham Alpha BD48. And it, it just all came together. So it was, yeah. it was a, more of a combination of the five factors you said? It, it's than exactly that combination, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other radical thing on the car, which could have let us down, is the transmission. Because okay. in lowering the engine that much, the normal split between the two gear shafts in, in the gearbox mm. meant the drive shafts were completely the wrong angle. But at the last minute, yeah. brand new gearbox, and that's the one thing I thought that could let us down, but actually it ran perfectly the, the, whole, the was whole season. Amazing, yeah, yeah. Season, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the Italian Grand Prix. Yeah, and that was really, I mean, that was a spark plug failure. It's a shame we didn't get the full score. Yeah. <laughs> 15 out of 16, you would have taken that, I'm sure, going yeah. into oh, the yes, season. Definitely, the, first yeah. project, the drivers that you had mm -hmm. at the time, obviously, you said they are an amazing lineup. Mm -hmm. How much sort of impact did they have? in the sort of development of the car and, and sort of um, shaping the direction? In the development forward. of the car, nothing at all. Nothing? Nothing, okay. because we were, uh, we were developing for a brand new engine, changing from the Porsche, the Tag Porsche engine, to this. So we just had our heads down in yeah. designing a brand new car, so we didn't involve them at all. We did a lot of engine testing with the driver, so if they had any influence at all, it was over the drivability of the motor, because we put one of these motors in last year's chassis. Mm. Uh, so did they know when they first got in the car and first drove yeah. it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That this was going to no, be it was a... dynamite from day, from day <laughs> one. Yeah. Did you think that potentially the other teams were maybe sandbagging in testing, or did you think, no, we're actually... No, we knew. Okay. I mean, as soon as I saw the wind tunnel results, I knew we were going to be really quick, and it was the same sort of efficiency gain we got with the Brabham aerodynamically mm. so it was what I was expecting. So where does that rank? This, 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 this is oh this is in my top three for top sure. Three, top yeah three. I would say top three. I think this one uh, the 44 and the Brabham BD52 which was the pit stop the arrow car the pit mm. stop those three I would say. To see it in the flesh is amazing how many of these models exist in I think, I'm just trying to think, I think we built about six of these in total. With a 1.6 litre V6 turbo engine producing somewhere around the region of 700 brake horsepower, the MP44 was unstoppable. Had it not been for a spark plug failure for Prost or a crash for Senna whilst leading the Italian Grand Prix two laps from the end, we would have seen the first and only golden season in Formula 1. Incredibly, McLaren Honda scored triple the amount of points than Ferrari who finished second in the constructor standings that year, whereas unfortunately it seems 
to be the other way around these days. You can't disagree with the statistics. This is the most dominant car of all time in terms of win percentage, but the Mercedes has come very close with 19 out of 21 wins in 2016. Do you think there was a car that dominated more than the MP44? Let us know in the comments section below.